G'day and welcome to Queensland Farmer. Today we've come back to the gateway that we put some mulch down and we're going to review how it handled the 66 mils of rain in the hour that we got a little while ago. But before we get to that, I just want to say thank you very much for those people that have subscribed to the channel and that engagement that we've had uh, since I started the channel. There's uh, at this stage, I think around 32,000 views and the engagement that uh, we've got on either comments or people sharing the videos, like the videos, um, or have joined me on Facebook, I just want to say thank you. Now, on to the progress here. Well, you might recall we rolled out a couple of bales of uh, hay out through this area here. And during the 66 mils of rain that we got the other day, in one hour, the water was really coming down through this area. We're on a bit of a hill here and I know cameras always find it a little bit difficult to pick up how steep it is but trust me it's you know it's it's quite a hill and uh, the water was certainly flowing down here and I'll just show you a few examples of where this mulch was there's been no movement at all in terms of uh, any soil but along the side of it where we didn't actually have any mulch there's quite a build-up of sediments um, which is some old grass, some dirt, and some other um, bioproducts. So whatever might have been left, dead insects and you know poo and all the rest of it. So it's certainly been caught up against this um, material that we've put down on the ground. So I consider this a success. I'm really, really happy, and I can't believe that we got the timing so right. Certainly the mulch here is quite thick in places. Over on the edges, it's not so thick, but here where there's a bit of a drop off, you can see that uh, it's, uh, it's really very thick in here. And you know what, under all of this, it's still quite moist, which is, uh, which is terrific. Okay, so onto uh, where there's a build up of uh, products. So this is the, the hill going up. And you can still see it's a little bit bare there. However, down here, you can see that this is all the stuff that came down the hill and got caught up. This is the stuff that would normally be traveling down into the waterways. Certainly has left your property and heading into the waterways and uh, join whatever creeks you might have and head out to sea or wherever it might be for you. So I'm really happy that this got deposited here. You might also notice that since we've had the rain and we, we had that 66 mils of rain and just over the last couple of days, we in fact have had another 11 mils. So uh, what a changing landscape it is. Over in this spot is uh, where we did a very early video. This area had been eroded quite badly. And uh, I showed how we fixed it with a bit of rock that we had laying around from a previous job brought the tractor in, we dropped the rock off, we sort of made a few changes by hand just to make it so it would guide the water where we wanted it to. And then we got to this little area here, which I, I sort of loosely described as a, a leaky weir. Now, the idea, if I can get down to sort of almost ground level, is that the water would travel from up here, come down to here, hit this sort of barrier here, and some of it would spill over and some of it would come up and around. Obviously this is starting to work because we're getting grass growing here. And over time, hopefully this will completely establish and uh, I'll probably come up and, and throw a bit more dirt and, and seed up in this area, just up in here. Again, uh, further down the hill from where we just were, I just put a, a few uh, runs of rock across here as well. And you can see that the sediments have come down in that rain and there's leaves and sticks. And I can see a bit of poo just there. So it gives you an idea of how much water was coming down here for it to actually float that down the hill with it. And you can see that it all got caught up on here. It's not staying nice and moist. And there's a bit of grass growing. And as you travel up through this section here, you can see that uh, 
anywhere there's an opportunity to snag any of that debris, it gets snagged. And yet, we go up a little bit further, where there's nothing for it to snag, it's just all open bare dirt. So I hope that sort of helps understand the, the principles behind the leaky weir idea. Or, or said another way, just, just a way to snag that material that's coming down the hill. And to stop all your, your topsoil and subsoils traveling off your property. This job certainly isn't done. This is just the beginning. And when you're working with uh, areas like this that have been damaged for a long time, it's clear that it's going to take a while to fix it. But nature's certainly doing its bit now. This is the area that we also put mulch down. You can see that the cows have been over here a few times now and made deposits. We'll take some time but this will break down. I've just checked underneath it and it's still quite moist despite not having rain for about 24 hours. I'm hoping to keep this area moist and just to see if we can encourage this material to break down and re-establish an environment so grass will grow. There are a few comments that suggested that um, we could put a, a swale or a leaky weir or something on here to direct the water. And I understand what people are saying with regard to that, but this area here really is caused by where the cattle typically walk. Now, the area that you can see there is really just covering up those cattle tracks. If we move back just a little bit, you'll see here that there's a few spots here that I haven't covered. And that's what they had become. I've got a few of these around the place. In fact, I, uh, I imagine it's probably a kilometre or more of them. But I'll, uh, I'll catch all that up in a future video. I just want to configure something up on the ATV to help me roll off these bales of hay. So we uh, are efficient with the application of the bales of hay, given you know they're expensive and if I can do it the cheapest way possible and still achieve the same outcome, I'm happy with that. So here again is an example of there's no nothing there blocking the sediments running. Yet as we get down towards where I've uh, thrown some mulch, you'll see here Uh, this has come in from that rain event. It's actually still quite moist. As you can see, it's holding together. So this is the sort of thing that I'm hoping to uh, to address all around the farm. But that'll be in another video. <laughs> Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe and if you wish to join me on Facebook there's a link on my page just like, like what they said. If you wish to join me on Facebook there's a link on my YouTube channel and uh, on Facebook just out of interest I share things that you can't really share on YouTube, still photographs and and comments about things that are happening around the farm.